Hey friends, welcome back. This week I had a chance to talk with some of the third class and fourth class cadets in my company and just ask them a bit about their swab summer experience and any advice that they have for a person thinking about applying to the Coast Guard Academy and is going to start that application process. So I hope you enjoyed this video and let's just go right into the Q&A. So one piece of advice I would give to a high school student that's thinking about applying is if you're thinking about playing a sport, really think about if you want to be here without that sport. I know a couple people, some of my friends, they didn't make their sports team and they really came here to play their sport. So you have to think about if you want to be here, think about it without the sport part. You can bond with about 250 or more people. You're so close with them. You have the greatest experiences their class summer. You get to go on your first cutters, your first stations, the first time you fly a helicopter with people. And then you get to go through the tough times, it makes you stronger, it makes you a better officer. Uh, the education is great and the opportunities you get will be endless. So absolutely pursue it, stay strong, and go Bears. I would tell them to apply for the AIM program. Um, the, for high school juniors, like the summer before you would go into swap summer, just so you can see like if it's really something you're interested in, because that kind of weeds out a couple people that are like, no, this isn't for me. But like I fell in love with the academy during that week. Make sure to start early, because starting late you rush it all, and it makes, sometimes makes things a little rough. So definitely begin early so that you are confident in your application. Show them that you're interested. Um, like email uh, your admissions officer like every single week, that's what I did. That helped me a lot. So just show them that you're interested and, and just do your best academically. Have a fun senior year. Keep staying in touch with your admissions officer, that really helps with the application process a lot. One piece of advice for anybody thinking about stuff out of high school, um, I was really into aviation, so I was looking at all the other academies and kind of seeing what the options were. You know, I first thought fighter jets, and of course you think of Navy and Air Force, but Coast Guard is like the way to go, I've learned so far. You've got all sorts of stuff. They're building an air station like 30 minutes from my house, so what can I say? It's the way to go. Well, one piece of advice is when you're applying, you know, it's an adventure, so why not? Just do it. Don't cut yourself off from the opportunity when you might, like, come back and regret it in the spring when, like, colleges, like, the results don't turn out how you think they would. Here you'll meet the most amazing people who, um, will always be there for you and support you through the hard times. Be yourself, be genuine, and uh, don't be afraid to get out and introduce yourself. You just have to want it. You have to know that you want to be at the academy and know that you want to finish Swamp Summer. My best advice for Swamp Summer is just to come in full speed, give it your all, don't take it for granted and it goes by really fast once you get to the end of it. And so just like uh, be fully dedicated, give it your best and be able to end Swamp Summer saying like I gave my all and I improved and to look back and be glad in that. It's a lot of hard work but you look back and the time really does fly and it's really worth it when you finally like get your shoulders boards and like become a fourth class cadet. Swamp Summer sucks a lot but it's really worth it. Cadre can't stop time, so as long as you make it through, like minute by minute and day by day, like you're gonna get through it because you know they just can't stop the hours from going by. Everyone's going through the same thing at the same time, and even though you might have a struggle, really like rely on your shipmates because they'll be the ones to help you through it all at the end of the day. You get a lot of food because I was always hungry, so <laughs> snacks are important. Push yourself every day, and you'll slowly see yourself getting better. Think of the end game. It's totally worth it. Um, I had my birthday on sea trials, which was awesome. It was a great experience, um, and just keep going forward. Make sure that you enjoy it and do make the most of every moment because it goes way faster than you think it will, and it's actually really fun if you make it. Prepare yourself physically, like do a lot of push-ups and go on a lot of runs, but just don't worry about it too much. I understand that it's a learning experience for the car joy and the swaps. To definitely prepare mentally, it's going to be more of a mental battle than it is physically. Uh, however, I would prepare physically. Um, a lot of running, you're going to be doing a lot of running, uh, you know, waking up early. Um, and that's where the mental aspect comes into play. Uh, the physical and mental breakdown can occur if you're not headstrong. So, you know, make sure you're believing in yourself and reminding yourself of what your purpose is to be here and you'll be able to get through it.
Make friends with everyone you can and just enjoy the good times when you can. Use your shipmates and everyone that's around you and just lean on them because things are going to be really tough and you're going to be pushed to like places you never knew you could reach. But use your roommates and everyone else when you have the small moments to get together and just build off each other and I think it'll really help through Swap Summer. Just do what you're told and do it as fast as you can and you'll most likely never get in trouble. Just laugh in the bathroom when you're getting yelled at. Everyone's going through the same thing, so just don't take it personally, just smile. Don't take stuff personally. Do not take anything personally. Take nothing personal. And if you start off as a bad swab, like I did, you can always improve and be a good swab at the end. Everyone's getting yelled at, it's not just you. I'd say the best thing about the Academy so far is the summer experiences, just being able to go to Iceland, uh, Bermuda. I stood. 20 feet away from the president at one point, saluted him at a graduation ceremony, doing things I never would have been able to do without the academy. So, really grateful for that, and I can't recommend it more. You come for the service, and then you stay for the friends. They tell you, fourth class year since I had to deal with COVID, um, I didn't really get to meet my classmates, and then um, I also sprained my ankle, so like I couldn't really go out with anyone. And then over the summer. Um, we went on Eagle and we all got to take our masks off for the first time to see each other's faces and um, I got to know some really good people and um, Definitely stay for the friends because Good people here. So the best thing about the Academy is definitely the people you meet um, I know like so I'm a fourth class So I just got done with swap summer and the relationships that you build there are pretty strong because you're all going through this together and it's a, it's a hard time, but you know, the people you meet really help you push through it. One of the best things about the Coast Guard Academy is the weakness. Can you explain what that is for those who don't know? <laughs> it's all the desserts that you get. There's an assortment and you get so many over Swap Summer. And, well, sometimes you get it over Swap Summer. You have to earn it, but if you earn it, then the weakness, <laughs> that's where it's at. Best thing about the Academy so far would be the people. Swap Summer was rough, but it's also good because everybody got really close. And we have a lot of great memories and I'm looking forward to the next four years with all these people. The best thing about the Academy so far is the close relationships you build throughout Swap Summer and that goes into the school year so that helps you succeed. One thing I'm looking forward to this year is having in-person classes and a real sports season. It's getting things back to normal. It's been really tough last year because of COVID and I'm just happy that everyone can act normal. Just the freedom of being at a college, uh, it's a lot different from high school and uh, just being able to you know, go to classes by yourself and um, you're really in charge of your own schedule and so that's pretty much something that I look forward to. The freedom as a third class to just like be able to mentor all the new freshmen and stuff like that and also looking forward to like getting to know like different clubs and stuff. Finally learned how to surf and swim I guess over the summer so it's great. I hope you enjoyed their advice and wisdom. I really like talking to them, so I was very happy to make this video. I personally am looking forward to one last year living with a lot of my best friends and then also figuring out where I'm going next year for my first unit in March on Bill at Night. So excited for all that and excited just to continue embracing the community that I have at the Academy and the awesome support that I've received from everyone here. So. I'm thankful for it and I'm thankful for all of you for watching my videos. God bless you and I'll see you next time.